Hi everybody, I'm gonna be kind of blunt here, and I'm not angry, I'm just sick of this particular problem, um, bullying, picking on people, gossiping about people, okay, if you're an adult, you need to grow up and stop doing it, you don't have to like the person, but don't be saying mean, nasty things about them, okay, just shut your mouth, simple as that, um, if you're an adult and you're a Christian, you definitely shouldn't be doing these things. Um, especially picking on them, making, belittling them, because you don't know their background. You don't know their history. You don't know where they're coming from. You're not inside your mind, inside their mind. And the man on top of my head, that Jesus dude, you know, that we love so much because he saved, he came for us and he saved us from our sins because he loved us, okay? He didn't care if he was black, white, lesbian, gay, whatever, okay? He loves us, okay? That whole gay part of the Bible, that's in the Old Testament, okay? That's still true. You know what? God will change him. Simple as that. He changed me. I was a very bad person before I knew God. Now I'm a very good person, and my God's proud of me, and... So, like, don't be judging on people because that's not your job is the main point. Your main point is to love on people. Love them like Christ loved the church, okay? Love your God with all your heart. Love your neighbor as yourself. And if that's hard for you or if it's hard for you to act the part of a Christian, um, number one, take it up with God because um, he'll probably change you. Um, number two, how I keep myself in check and my temper in check and my attitude in check, even though I really don't have an attitude or whatnot, is all this Jesus stuff. Like, I'm representing my king, so I want to do a very good job at representing him. And then it just reminds me, like, you know, God likes me, I'm forgiven, which I already knew that. I haven't Satan always tries to tell me, no, I'm not, but I tell him just to go to hell, you know, because that's where he belongs. And then my other two say, Jesus and WWJD, you know. Oh, that did that. Jesus and WWJD. Sorry, we had to read it upside down. And then this never comes off. Um, but I always just try to play the part. And, like, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I do have a hard time uh, judging some things about people. But, you know, that moment that thought enters my head, I take it captive and I throw it away. Because... And then I just look on that person with love. And I ask God how he sees that person. Because God looks at everybody with perfect love, perfect adoration. And he's violently chasing after them. Okay. God didn't pass you up. So why are you going to be passing other people up? Make them feel loved and accepted into the church. Or just into your life. Don't be having holding grudges or anything. Because that's not what a true Christian does. Okay, just look at him the way God does. Because like I said, I'm going to repeat this because it's important. God did not pass you up in your jacked upness and your hating. Well, I don't know about you, but I hated people. Like, I despised their hypocrisy. I hated people because they picked on me. I was lonely. I, I was depressed. I was angry. I was a drunk. I was uh, a pothead. All those things. And you know what? God said, I want that one. So, God cares about the lost. He cares about the misguided. He cares about the outcast. So, we should too. Okay. That's all I'm just going to say on this video. If you want to, share it. Um, you guys have a blessed day. Uh, and I'm sorry I took up four minutes of your time ranting and raging. But it was important to me and it was really getting on my nerves. Okay. So, bye. Have a blessed day.